right, welcome back to the Built to Grow podcast. I'm your host, Tim Lyons, joined in the studio, HQ, by and with Randy Instinct. What's up, buddy? We are near and uh, doing this By and, and, yes, in <laughs> circumference. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. So, guys, we are on the heels. By the time you're listening to this, we're on the heels of the Growth Summit. Um, although we are not there yet. Yeah, we haven't done it yet. So we can, we're, we're predicting into the future uh, what what kind of an amazing event that was. Yes. Yeah, it was. It was. <laughs> yes. Uh, but, you know, this episode I want to talk about is mindset a little bit. Yeah. Because, we, you know, we have um, a really cool story about one of our Iron Circle members that I met. We met him in Nashville. I'd never mm-hmm. met uh, Daniel. I'm going to throw his name out there. I'd never met Daniel before. Uh, he was in another mastermind. He he saw ads. He knew Rick Mayo mm-hmm. uh, pretty well. And he's like, yeah, Rick speaking, I'll, I'll come check it out, right? So he came to the event in Nashville. That was in 22, right? Yeah. Yeah, 22. Yep. May of 22. Yep. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, at, at the... Um, at the at the event, we gave everybody an opportunity to join the Iron Circle if you if you met criteria, and he decided to join. And you know, one of the things that he told me was like, I you know, I'm doing really well. Um, I don't, don't want to work harder for more because I could do that now. Mm-hmm. I said, man, this isn't what this isn't what the Iron Circle is. The Iron Circle, you're gonna find yourself stepping back and making more. Yes. right. And that's kind of like our little bit of our culture is like, okay, yeah, we could all work harder, but working hard, like there is a point of no return. Absolutely. You can work. Like I just, I'm reading a book right now called U squared and it's about um, quantum leaps instead of incremental leaps in your, in your, in your person. Right. And they talk about a fly and he was trying to get out the window and he's freaking <laughs> banging his head against the window where three feet over, there's an open door. Mm-hmm. No matter how much harder you try, you're only going to get to the window because unless you can break it as a fly, that's impossible. Right. But, thinking outside of the box, take a hard left, go through that open door. That's what the iron circle was, yes. right? It was for, for Daniel. And so Daniel was at the top, of, he, his, his business was kicking ass. It mm-hmm. still is right. Or was right. And he, he was in another mastermind group and you know, he was the top dog, you know, he was just, everybody was kind of coming to him for the answers and solutions. And just like, man, you know, I'm not really seeing growth anymore. Mm-hmm. He got, he got from A to B. But from B to C was a different, he had, he had to stop working harder and doing the same thing. He needed, he needed to go through that open door, right? And one of the Iron Circle um, testimonials he gave after, after another event, the Scottsdale event, he was, you know, Nick, Nick does our testimonials. He said, he said this, this one line that's, that makes all the sense. He said, coming to the Growth Summit, seeing other people, uh, do big things. Joining the Iron Circle itself gave me permission to think bigger. Boom. It gave him permission to think bigger. And and I don't think he could have said it any better because at the end of the day, you only are, are you only know what you know around you, right? If you're in these other groups or you're seeing people doing 30 grand, 50 grand, 60 grand, and you think that's the best, then that's as far as you're going to, you're going to work and you're going to get to that point. And you're thinking, this is all I can get out of this thing. Yeah. Um, we have another, uh, Iron Circle members, Scott and Matt, right out of Kentucky. And they were also in another mastermind group. They were the top dogs. Mm-hmm. And since coming to the Iron Circle, they've doubled and then doubled again their business and they've worked, they're working less, right? They've worked themselves out of the operation while their business is thriving, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it wasn't working hard, it was working differently. And so, you know, I think you need permission sometimes to say, okay, I can do more than I'm doing or, or, Maybe you need to sit back and realize like, oh my God, the people I'm around aren't the movers and shakers I thought they were. If you look around you, and again, you could talk about the average of the five people around you, they couldn't be more true. Absolutely. You couldn't be more true because, and I'm not gonna say every single, we we don't, nobody has 100% success in anything that they do, but like the people in the iron circle, the gym owners, they join the iron circle. They're surrounded by the thought leaders and, and different thinking of all these gems. We share like crazy in there. It's a, a culture of sharing. No, nothing holds, nobody holds anything a secret. Yep. We, we share our wins and our failures and what we're trying and, you know, and we share it. And it's like, it was just the culture we built from the day one. There was nothing to hide here. Like, hey, if you're winning, we, we need you to share that with everybody if you would, right? And, and everybody's happy to do it. And every single gym owner that joins this group, and again, I'm not going to claim 100%, but like 
they, just being around this group allows them to think bigger and then they grow. Yeah. Astronomically. Mac James, another great example. I've known him for years, kind of stuck in the same place. Comes in the IC, explodes best year ever. Yeah. And, and he's working less. He's working smarter. He's going through that window, right? And for, instead of smashing himself into that window, he's going through the door, right? So it's like, it's, it's just a different thought process. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is changing your mindset, but the permission part is what I think you're allowed to make money in this business, guys, you should. And there's a lot of like, um, starving artist mentality of mm -hmm. the, of the trainer world. Like if it's not bad to make profit, it's not, it's, it's your duty. It's your obligation. obligation yeah. and, and there's some deep withheld like belief that, Hey, if I'm making money, somebody else isn't making money and that's bad. Um, I, I was listening to, a, a, an interview with this guy, uh, he was talking to Grant Cardone. Um, anyways, it was this guy who was like, you know, my first year in business, I made 70 grand. And by the end of the year, I didn't have any money left to pay taxes. And then I, the next year, and he's like, nobody taught me that. Nobody taught me I had to withhold and all these things. And the next year he made 700,000. He was in the same exact position because he was giving money away and he was helping his family and he was buying things. And then he made 7 million the next year and he could not pay his taxes because it was his belief that in order for the next money to show up, this money had to be gone. Cause he was, he was in that mentality of that, that poor mentality mm -hmm. of like, you only, you only the rich, you, if you have money, you won't get more money in order for you to earn and get money is you can't have any. Interesting. It was just, an, and I saw from his point of view, it was a mindset of like, I, you know, the reason um, money was bad for, in his opinion, is because I can't get more if I have it. It's Versus, real interesting. So he had to spend it and give it away yeah. to his family, take care of all these people and never, and, and he kept burying himself. No matter what, he made 10 times more and 10 times more again, and he would never have money left at the end of the year. So um, again, you're allowed to make money in this business, the gym owner world in the fitness industry. It's a tough business, guys. This is probably one of the hardest businesses to make good money. Oh yeah. Like I believe you can pay for your lifestyle with one location. You will never get rich, like retirement rich. Sure. You, you can sell your business. Our friend has, that we just spoke about, seven figure payday, amazing, right, guy? And um, he benefited from it, but I think it's what you do with that money to make more that's gonna really get you to the finish line. It's a tool, right? At the end of the day, and I think that we, we put so much emphasis on money that we, we, we build it way bigger than sometimes it needs to be. You know, money is a tool that provides you with the opportunity for freedom, for the opportunity to serve others. Um, but at the end of the day, if you're, you know, robbing yourself to, to take care of people, like I had a conversation, I think I mentioned on a private uh, podcast after we came back from Perform Better, but had a conversation with a gym owner who was making decisions because he wanted to help the community, help this trainer that, you know, the, the gym that he was training at lost, um, lost, uh, they closed their doors. So he brought him over into his business, but he brought him in as an independent contractor when nobody else in his business is an independent contractor. So he's, he's now, not only is he, I guess it's admirable to, to, to have something like that or, or to offer somebody something like that. But when we had the conversation with him, I, my, my only response was, it sounds like you have a new employee, it should have a new employee, not yeah. bring, you know, cater and change your whole business to go make this guy's situation better at the expense of what right. you're doing already. His business wasn't in a position where he could afford to allow somebody else to take food off of his plate. He wasn't in a position to where he could be and do all these charitable things. He's still trying to get himself, you know, paid Hold, consistently. Yeah. And the, whether it's, I mean, I don't know. I've read enough books. I've read enough great coaches and I'm talking, you know, these are, these are massive influences, influences in my life over the years. Not one of them has a belief that you need to sacrifice and be, you know, put yourself in a detriment in order to get to that next level. Right. Mm -mm. And when, when that shift takes place that like you can win while you're, uh, w you know, creating wins for others, like that's the way it is. Maybe your time and attention focuses on your clients and your, who you're serving. But at the end of the day, there needs to be that, that uh, reciprocation of value into to a degree yeah. if you're bringing a if you're bringing to the marketplace a massive value like changing somebody's life when it comes to fitness accountability nutrition all of these things 
they should be paying you in accordance. Of course. And the more value, like it's a Zig Ziglar or a Jim Rohn quote, right? Your value is will always be your your pay will always be equivalent to the value you bring to the marketplace. And if you're not bringing more value, or if you don't believe that, you could you're going to find yourself in a position where you're pouring value into the marketplace, and it's not going to be reciprocated. You have to make that. You have to give yourself the authority first yeah. before anybody else is permission. Gonna permission. You got to give yourself, and I'm giving you guys permission. I'm yeah. honestly like, it was, some people listen to this that might need to hear that because yeah. you're allowed, guys. You should be winning. You should be beating everybody in your. I mean, you should beat yourself, right? Every year is a competition against yourself. Your businesses should be growing every year. If you're doing the same thing or you're making the same amount, like two years in a row, for example the uh state of the union came out the numbers were the same as yeah. last year like the sixteen thousand three hundred number was like pretty much spot on again yeah so like our in our, our industry state of the union yeah in our fitness industry state of the union but that, that gets put out by another company we just kind of dissect the the, the we anal we, we create an analysis around the data because yeah. that's that's good data i mean it's good to to know but it's pathetic that two years in a row that the number's the same, like that that's what the average gym makes, 16,301. We brought our own data in, we, we compiled it based on, and we weighted it all the same. It's the same number yeah. as last year. Yeah. So 16,000 is what a gym makes on average. And again, if you're following, I guess, profit first methodology, 15% of that's the, the, it should go to the owner, right? Owner pay, that's 2,400 bucks. You divide that by 4.33 weeks a year, it's $554 a week. a week. You divide that by how many hours a week you spend in the business. We threw 55 on it, you make 10 bucks an hour. That's what yeah. it cut, $10.25 yeah. an hour. That's not gonna, that's not gonna get you the finish line, guys. That, that, I mean, I'm hard, hard to say. I mean, you, you can, I guess, in some areas do okay, maybe in like, a little bit, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't. I mean, ten's pretty low for anybody to live off of nowadays. Yeah. I mean, nowadays, anyway, right? I mean, yeah. hell, minimum wage in most places is over ten now. It's twelve or fifteen. Yeah. So it's wild. You yeah. want to take the risk, be the business owner, and be in your business fifty-five hours, not forty hours, yep. to to make less than what you could do going and pulling a job at McDonald's. If you're if you're playing that game and you're not doing something different to get out of that seat, yeah. you're going to be in that. One hundred percent mindset, right? Absolutely. Because because the answers are all out there. Yep. It's it's whether or not you want to raise your rates, you want to change your model, you want to sell better, you want to market better. If you want to, you could you know serve better. You can make as much money as you want. Honestly, mm -hmm. that's what's being a <laughs> the cash flow quadrant, right? The business owner, self employed side of the of the equation. It's like as an employee, you're going to make X, right? Like you could, you could get um, profit share or you could get commissions and there's other ways, but like at the end of the day, it's, this is the X for the job. Once you go to the self-employed, you can make zero. We can make a lot of, you can, you can call your shot. Now, the problem here at this level is you can only work so much, right? Yeah. 55 hours, 80 hours. We've all done it, right? And, and to get to the business owner side, that's when you leverage systems and people human capital to generate as much as possible you got to pay for it but then if i pay let's just say 50 grand a, a year but i can make 80 grand a year because of that well then you you the arbitrage is there right yeah. you got that thirty thousand dollar delta right they made 50 you made 80 whatever 30 grand point is this you can't just always work harder you have to work differently you have to look at what others are doing. Surround yourself with the people that are doing it. Yeah. What you aspire to do. And if you don't know what you aspire to do, that's where you need to start. What do you want, <laughs> right? Yep. Answer that question first. What do you want out of this business? For me, like it's to serve a lifestyle and do other things. I don't want to spend any time in this facility anymore. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's that was goal one when I started it. It's like, let me get this thing off the ground and humming and doing all the things and let me get out of the way and let the, the, let the machine go. And so many gym owners have that. That's the hardest part is getting out of the way. You can't get out of the way. You got to allow people to make decisions and you, you can't reprimand them for making bad decisions. That's the, that's the key to this whole equation is you got to replace yourself with somebody and allow them to make the decisions. 
if you, every decision goes through you as the gym owner, you'll never get out. It just won't happen. Yeah, you've created a system that's that Dependent. all roads go through you. And that's exactly the opposite of what you need to create yeah. in order to be able to, to fulfill on that, you know, the freedom aspect of being a business owner. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you mentioned the two the two year thing. We decided to pivot into a coaching system like we we brought in our coaching program because we watched gym owners do the same thing two three years deep and they were in the same position month over revenue was identical three years deep they're doing the same exact numbers that they were three years ago and again they're not at the the 25 30 35 40 50 70 a hundred thousand dollar mark you know month per month mark these guys are doing 16,000 15,000 12,000 a month the, our average clients are doing over twice that you know, and, and it's not a, it's guys, I'm not saying that because it's a, we've got the secret sauce. If, if we bring one thing to the table, it's going it, to, it starts with giving you the authority and then we're going to help show you the systems, the tools and the operation that's going to get you there. It's not go do what you're doing harder, go run more lead generation, go get another certification. That's what everything you know to go pull from the levers to go pull in your business to go get further that'll get you to 16. It'll, exactly <laughs> and, and it's well look at it i mean look at the average the numbers are there when those people that's what they're all doing at that level they're going to all of the events to get another certification they're, they're considering the next equipment to bring in that might get a rush of clients through the door it won't happen mm -hmm. um you know but when you start to decide to run a business and like you said i think it starts with what is the what do you want your business to do for you get clear on that first, then you retro the business. Then you say, okay, I have to create a business that's gonna make this much money. How do I go do that? Find those that are doing that and emulate from their success. You don't, find a group like the Iron Circle, right? We're giving it away. All of our gym owners give it all away. Hey, this is how I got here. Here's exactly this, the, here's my whole gym right here. This is what I do. You can do the same things, mm -hmm. but you have to be in the right room. You have to have the belief that, that it's possible for you. Make the decision to surround yourself with that uh, type of individuals, those types of individuals, and then execute the things that they're doing. You're going to yep. see success. It's a byproduct of the work. Yep. The best use of your time is to surround yourself by the people that are doing what you aspire to do. Absolutely. That's it. Because you're going to learn from them. You're going to see what they're doing. You can say, aha, it is possible because there's some, there's some part of you right now that doesn't believe it's possible. Absolutely. I don't think I'll ever make 50 grand. That's what you're saying in your head a month. And you won't because you don't think you can. And then when you see somebody that's not doing much different than you, right? They're doing a couple little tweaks in their business, a little different price point, a little different schedule, and they're doing 50 grand and you're doing 30. Oh my God, like that's, that's not any harder. Let me just do that instead. It's, it's different. It's not harder, it's different. It's different, that's so, a great way of saying it. So do yourself a favor you have permission to seek out groups like the iron circle like coaching groups that we offer and and surround yourself by the, the movers and shakers that's where i want to be that's why we created it it didn't exist there's no group out there that can serve me as the owner that i want to be than the iron circle it just doesn't exist that's why we created it yep the whole point of it was for myself. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't want to create a mastermind. That wasn't like, hey, let's go create a mastermind group of badasses today. It, it was, hey, yo, wh what's the group that I can join to grow? Because that's what I want to do. It doesn't exist out there. Didn't. Didn't. Yep. So we, we created. That's the honest truth. And I'm so proud of these guys and girls in this group. And the reason I know that these are this is the right group for me and for them is they were in other groups and they got to x and we got them to x times three that's it like that's the proof the proof's in the pudding it's not anything i'm doing it's the it's the people in the group yeah the benefits and the growth and the and all that stuff come from just yeah i'm the i'm the guy the puppet master making things happen like putting the things together but we're bringing in the right speakers. We're having the right conversations. We're bringing in the best of the best, and that's that's what gr everybody's growing from. It's not it's not from me. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's what it is. It's a, it's a again, you're just in the right room, you know. And okay. you mentioned it before. We've all heard the old saying: if you're the smartest guy in the room, you're in the wrong room. Look around, look around. Are you the one that's providing all the information to everybody else, or are you the one that's you know got a good give and take? Um, if you're not finding that, then seek a new room. Mm -hmm. But you have to make a different decision if you want to, to, to raise your threshold. You have to, the decisions, well, one, there's the belief, and then the decision, and then the action. 
And if you, you pair those three, you make those three take place, you're going to find yourself in a different position six months from now, a year from now. Yeah. I mean, sometimes entirely different. I mean, not even the same game. You know, you brought up Matt and Scott. Like, the business that they have today, not even comparable to what they were running. We ran into clients of theirs that performed better that were coming up, and the clients were complimenting us yeah. Yeah. on how well they their business is doing as a byproduct of, oh, I, I, you know, since they started working with you guys and got in that room, the, like, they're just, they're different guys. It, their, their business is entirely different. And that's mm -hmm. really cool, even coming from a client in their yeah. business. Yeah. It, it was received. It was visible. And, Very cool. And they like to see them win. Th that's okay, too, right? It, it's amazing, yeah. right? Like, you, you don't, you know, it's not like you, they were rubbing it in their client's face that they're, I mean, it didn't affect their client, right? Mm -hmm. Their client probably has better training and, and is happier from yeah. how the business is today. Sure. And uh, it, it just, it's really cool to see that. But it, it has to start with that belief shift, and then you got to do something. Yep. And you guys, if, if, uh, if any of this resonates and you want to check out what the Iron Circle is about, go to ironcircle.net. You can check it all out in there. You can see the testimonials. You can see kind of what we do. Um, then there's like an opt-in and jump on a call with Randy. Yeah. And if, if it's a good fit, awesome. Um, you do need to be at least making $30,000 a month or more. Uh, we have coaching programs under that. If you're not doing that yet, that's we, we want you. We want you to get there eventually. But but the Iron Circle is not for you if you're not doing that kind of revenue yet. Um, but we can help you get there, and then we get you in the Iron Circle. And that's how a lot of Iron Circle members have joined, like kind of ascended up there. So they started at fifteen twenty, and now they're making forty fifty, and they're in the Iron Circle. So that's uh, that's an option as well. So yep. hopefully that helps you guys. You guys have permission to think bigger. You need to think bigger. Your business needs you to think bigger. Your coaches need you to think bigger. And so here's your permission. Go think bigger, guys. That's it for this episode. Until next time, keep changing the lives. We'll see you on the next show. Bye. All right. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Built to Grow podcast. If you want more help growing your business, join our free Facebook group, Profit Accelerator, helping training gyms grow to $30,000 a month and beyond. We'd love to see you there. Go check out the show notes for the link and keep building something great. And we'll see you in the next episode.